Hello and welcome back in this new tutorial in which I try to explain how to build your personal physics engine using Python. I don't recap all the stuff about the Pyglet library, you can find all you need in my previous tutorial series. The engine that I want to project will be about particle. First of all we want to create a class particle. A classical particle as you probably studied in physics as a position, as a mass and as a velocity. The position is a vector of two elements, x and y, that tell us where the particle is on the screen. The mass of the particle is a float real number that describes the peculiar property of the particle. And then there is the velocity that is a vector of two components, x and y, that tell us how the position change over time. Then we can talk about speed, that is just the modulus of the velocity, so you can use the Pythagoras theorem vx square plus vy square all under square root. Then there is the momentum. No, wait a momentum. We don't want that now. As always, if you want to draw something using Pyglet library, you must use the Pyglet graphics vertex list with one element because we have just one particle. The vector position is contained in self dot position and the color is just blue. So in the window class, if we implement a main particle that is a particle in the origin with a mass of 10, and then for now, let's think about a static particle. Okay, we just draw a little dot. Not so incredible, but if you follow the tutorial, you create something incredible. Then we can move the particle, and to do that, we re-enter in the particle class, we define a function move, and the function move simply add to the position the velocity in the x direction and in the y direction. And then we must redraw the point in the new position. So now when there is the cycle of the program we can call the move function, so the particle move, and we must assign before a velocity. Then we run and we have this little dot that moves, moves, moves. For now we are just creating a little dot that moves on screen, but next lesson we implement the collision between two particles. See you on next tutorial.